Hey everybody, how is it all going? Well, the fun begins. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cut these green uh, tie-down straps off this new battery and take it out the back. We've got better light quality out the back. Here we've got too much shadow. And then we'll start the unboxing videos for you. All right, let's have a quick look at the outside of the box. Ta-da! I've removed all identifying Labels. All right, here we are. We got it inside. We moved the battery inside so there's less traffic noise and better lighting. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to open the box, give you a look how it's all in there, and then I'm going to get all the bits and pieces out, put them on the kitchen table, and go through them with you. So you can all see exactly what comes with this Dia battery. Okay, I've already cut the box open. So you can see exactly what's in there. All right, in this box, there's the alternate side mounts. If you don't want to use the uh, back mounting plate, communications cable, earth lead, that's about it. The battery interconnects, uh, battery cable red, oh, there's more down there. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's a busted packet, but it's got mounting bolts, battery negative lead and this is the back plate and the DIA manual is all I can see right now okay so oh so that's the small battery interconnect cable if you're using uh, two batteries that's the interconnect cable for the battery and that's the ground that's the one that goes from the battery to the inverter communications cable and these are the alternate alternate mounts um, if you just want to mount it straight onto the wall like I'll be doing, I'll be using these mounts. Okay. I'll quickly stack that all back in there. It would be good if I had two of these and then I could show you how all this stuff works. But anyway, um, in this packet here, You have the battery interconnects again that's if you're using more than one battery and this looks like 70 mil cable I mean what's it say on the side there um, it's rated 105 Celsius uh, thousand volts Yeah, it's, it looks like it's 70 millimeter to me. Now, I really like these type of connections. They've got a little spring on the side. You push that in and you just simply push these fittings straight onto your battery terminals. Brilliant idea. Okay, I'll put them back in there. Uh, 
Okay, that's the same with the uh, the positive, except the positive leads. Now uh, they're the same. They're they're uh, what's this say? Two two watt. So this is two watt. It says AWG two slash O. Thousand volt. So they're actually good for a lot of amps, a lot of amps. But you can put on. I think you can put up to thirty two batteries in a string on this thing. Um, just check in the book. I will attach the uh, battery fitting, the battery book to, to this video. Um, so that's the negative one. Again, it'll be going to my bus bar uh, because we have to use that special uh, DC switch that detects shorts and all sorts. Mounting bolts and small screws to attach all the other fittings to. And then the positive cable, again, it's got the very simple battery connect. And then this end will go to our um, bus bar. Okay. Okay, and lastly, but not least, we've got the book. The Dia book which has got everything on the battery, all the uh, connections. But I will try and download a PDF file of this book and attach it to the video. You've got your pin settings, you've got everything in here. All right, everyone. <sighs> well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this part of the unboxing video. Uh, the next part is we'll just lift the battery out and show you around the battery. Okay. Hey everyone, all right, I'm back. I have to uh, zip over to a friend's place and give him a hand with his off-grid system. Now that I'm back, before we have a look at the Dia battery and get into it, I'd just like to remind you as all this video is sponsored by Dia. Saying that uh, will not alter my thinking or opinion on this battery whatsoever. Um, a lot of you know, which is why you've hung with me for all these years. I tell it how I see it, and I tell the truth. Okay, now, this battery, I just want you to look at this spec. Scalability, maximum, 32 pieces in parallel for a total of 196 kilowatt hours. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty big. All right, let's have a look at the battery. Okay, we'll have a look from the front first. All right. Okay, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's got these lights you won't see very, very well right now. Uh, but once it's installed, which is another video, I'll actually show you the install process. Um, we'll look at it. But what I'm looking at now is just overall construction. All right, now on the left hand side, as you're looking at it, you've got this part here. These are your main terminals out. Okay, right there. There's your communications cable, PCS, and in. Okay. Then down the bottom, under that, we've got a circuit breaker. Okay, which is turned off at the moment. It's got a carry handle, and it's got all the relevant data right there. On the back of it, You've got the holes for the two different sorts of mounting. Now, if you're not mounting it with a mounting plate, you can actually put screws in to fill those holes up. The screws are provided. On the right-hand side, we've got your power in. Now, these cables are just pass-through cables with a on-off power button. So, I mean, they're pretty huge, and of course each battery has got its own BMS. 
Okay, so we've got this, we've got a power button, we've got the uh, communications cable, we've got an earth screw, a grounding screw, you just call it, earth screw, and a carry handle. Overall build quality is good. Very good. Okay, can't fold it. Uh, everything looks really nice, the positioning of stuff. That looks good. And of course I love the terminals they use. Uh, as I showed you before, you just push that clip in and they just slip on. Totally love that. Build quality, I'm giving it 10 out of 10. That's very strong. Very sturdy. Yeah, nice, nice.